As most of you know, we do a lot of traveling on the Trent Severn Waterway here in Ontario, Canada. And one of the top questions I get about that is how much does it cost to go through the locks? So if you're planning on traveling through the Trent Severn Waterway, you have a number of options for purchasing lock passes. For the average boater, there are five different options being the single lock and return, a one day, a one way, a six day, or a seasonal pass. Now keep in mind that all of the fees are calculated by the length of your boat, not by the lock that you're going through. Now the numbers I'm sharing with you are for the 2020 navigation season, which runs from May to October. A single lock and return will cost you 92 cents a foot for the length of your boat. Now that permit will allow you to go through a single lock and then return back through that same lock. So you can travel as far as you can get beyond the lock, but you can't go through any more locks without paying another fee. Now the one day pass is offered at $1.64 a foot, and that will allow you to pass through as many locks as you choose to, but only on that given day. Now the Transit One-Way Pass, which is offered at 475 a foot, will allow you to go through as many locks as you want, but only one way. Now that is offered for a lot of folks who, for example, let's say keep their boat in Lake Ontario for the off season, and they want to come up to Georgian Bay or somewhere along the system, and they don't intend on going back, or perhaps they bought a boat on a different lake and they want to go from where they purchased the boat to their home port, but don't intend on traveling through the system any farther. folks who are doing the Great Loop, that is ideal because most of the loopers will come from Lake Ontario, hit Lock 1 at Trenton and come all the way through the system to Georgian Bay and carry on without the need to ever go back the same way. Again, there's no time restriction so it's a nice leisurely one-way trip, right? Now the six day pass is offered at $5.16 a foot. Now this one can be confusing for some folks as they see a six day pass and then automatically assume that they have to travel within a six day period of time to go through the locks, but that's not the way it works. The way this one is set up is that you buy a six days worth of travel. So you can travel any six days throughout the navigation season. They don't have to be necessarily concurrent days. For example, you can buy the lock pass in May, travel through the locks for a couple of days, stay somewhere for a couple of weeks, and then move along a little bit farther, or even return, travel for a couple of days through the locks, and then again, stay somewhere for a month, and then you will still have two days worth of travel time left to you. Final one is a seasonal pass, which is offered at $8.99 a foot. Don't know why the government didn't just say nine bucks a foot, rounded up there a little bit, made it easier for everybody. But the seasonal pass would allow one unrestricted travel through the entire Trans Salmon Waterway for the whole navigation season. Now beyond that, given the fact that the Trent Severn Waterway is operated by Parks Canada, one could also use that seasonal pass on any of the other historic canals in Canada. You could travel through the entire Trent Severn Waterway, go through every lock as many times as you can or you want through that season. If you get bored with the Trent Severn Waterway, just pop over to the Rideau Canal for example. So again, you would have that same unrestricted passage through the locks for the Rideau Canal, Trent Severn Waterway, and other ones in the historic canals. And this one seasonal pass is good for all of those for the entire year.
Now, one final thing to keep in mind is that you can upgrade a one day pass to a six day pass or a six day pass to a seasonal pass at any time throughout the season. All you gotta do is save your receipt. So for example, let's say you buy a six day pass. You think, well, we're gonna spend a week traveling through the Trent Center Waterway and you're having so much fun. You say, you know what? The weather's nice, the heck with it. Let's spend the rest of the summer traveling on the Trent Severn Waterway. You can take that six day pass, just keep your receipt and upgrade it to a seasonal pass and they will just charge you whatever the difference is. You're not gonna have to spend the 516 a foot on a six day pass and then start again with another $8.99 on a seasonal pass. So just take whatever the difference is and charge you that. So you don't have to worry about getting double charged. Yeah, so there's all your different options. And again, don't worry about committing to a one day, six days, or even a seasonal pass right away. If you're not sure how much you're gonna do traveling, start off small and you can upgrade as you go along. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you out there. If you've watched my videos, you know it's a beautiful, beautiful area to travel by boat. That's it for this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.